These are some of our favorite things that we love to bring with us when we go camping. Hey Flo. Hey, I can't believe that we are already out camping this season. As you can see, I'm dressed a little bit warm because it's not as warm as it was yesterday even, but it's still beautiful. I gotta interject guys, it's been unseasonably warm. We're talking about in the uh, 22, 23 degrees centigrade. Yeah, it's been really warm, uh, except my wife here is, <laughs> let's say a little bit temperature challenged. Every year we put out a camping gear video and if you have not seen our last one or you're new to the channel, these are some of our favorite things that we love to bring with us when we go camping. Now, we are not hardcore campers. Um, I kind of tag along so long as dude makes it comfortable for me. So, so far it's been okay. He, he does a good job of making sure that uh, my kitchen is set up the way I like it. And he buys all sorts of things to make my life easier on the road. And yeah, that's props to him. So some of the things that I love and we've had for the last couple of years now, we went on a cross country trip, a six week cross country trip from Vancouver all the way to Newfoundland and back. And I have to say the thing that I loved most on that trip and continue to love is my fridge. Traveling for six weeks on the road it was a game changer because if we had a cooler, it would have to sit at the bottom. We would have to remove all the stuff up top, off the top to get to it. And we'd have to locate ice all the time. We found also that when we we're traveling that there was ice sold out everywhere. Love the fridge, love dude's brother for helping him construct this uh, wooden shelving unit to fit all of our other things and keeping the fridge in its own little compartment. The trail gator counter top still continues to be one of my favorite. It folds up and there's this extra board that comes out, extra counter space, love it. We have the five pound propane tank, which is great. We don't have to carry all those little single one pounders. Yeah, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> the, the Coleman one pound yeah. propane cylinders yep. that are not refillable. Yep. Now we have all also moved from plastic totes to these ammo crates, which turns out to be um, much better for us. I really disliked having to dig through my totes every time I wanted to find something and the smaller ammo crates works great because I can put I hope this is the grocery one on top. Yeah. And so all my dry goods are in here. I know not, they're not gonna get wet. Um, it's the, the space is short enough that I can find things without, with it, even with it being messy, I can locate what I need to locate. They are perfect because they're stackable. Uh, they are pretty much waterproof because they have an O-ring seal and they're really stout. I mean, they're, they're really rigid. I think you can even stack them this way and it locks into place. Yeah, yeah, so it's worked for us that way in the, the Jeep. We have a larger one at the bottom where we we happen to be uh, putting shoes. So yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, I don't think I miss anything about them. Okay, when we say shoes, we're talking about bringing our hikers and sandals and water shoes and runners that for a family of four, they just all go in there. Yeah, and they are made in the USA. Hey. So the other thing that we used to replace the totes was this chuck box that dude found. And it's great. It has a little compartment that I can put my utensils in. Just keeps things a little bit more organized. Have all my pots and pans in there. And it just folds up and I put some utensils in there. And that's it. It works out really well for us. And for all you eagle-eyed viewers out there, 
you'll know. I'll just tell you, I sourced this out <laughs> from the pet groomers uh, industry. Then we have the seven gallon water container. I gave dude a really hard time for getting such a big container because we have a smaller one at home, but I think it's only two and a half gallons. Yes. Yeah, so I do find that, you know what, when he fills it up once or twice through our whole entire trip, you know, our three or four day camping trip, it's a time saver. There's always water. We don't have to keep going back and forth to the tap. Yes. I also bring along a water filtration pitcher so that we can just filter our water from that water container. And this is our dishwashing station. All of these stack into each other. I'm going to show how one of the tubs... Yeah, they nest yep. into one another. And then this is the, the rack and it sits right in the containers as well. And this was six dollars for the three pieces two bucks each admittedly i have been looking at uh, new tech in terms of the collapsible tubs but since they nest so tightly it's kind of, it'll be kind of a waste of money well and i just put all the all of my dishwashing stuff into the buckets when we um pack it up to go i have a little lid that goes on top and i just buckle it all up with an old luggage strap that I found lying around at home. And yeah, it works out great for us. And when you go camping, you gotta have coffee. We're big on the espresso in the mornings at home, so it's no way we could go camping without having a coffee here at the site. We picked up an AeroPress, well, how many years ago now? Uh, two? I think we picked it up that year that we went across Canada. Yeah, an AeroPress kit. And it's a, it's, it's a pretty straightforward way to make almost espresso quality coffee on the road. And it's been a pretty good kit to have. The, the part where we've been having uh, some issues, but like the challenges is, well, do we bring our own ground coffee from home? Do we buy ground coffee on the road? Uh, but last year we were camping with a friend and he pulls out this hand grinder for the beans. So I was like, yeah. And we picked up the same grinder that he got from Amazon. And it's been working out well. It was delicious. It's been really good. So we just bring our whole beans from home. Moving on to keeping the coffee warm. Last year, I admittedly thought, you know what? We're gonna bring our hipster enamel mugs. And it was terrible. Oh. Let me get one of those hipster, said hipster enamel mugs. Uh, you know, it looks really, uh, really dope as you sit by the campfire in your lumberjack shirt and your knit hat. <laughs> but the truth of it is that the coffee cooled down so fast. It was like ice cold by the time you got down to the bottom of it. And it was just, that's just gross. So I, I did more research. <laughs> and it came across these Yeti tumblers. And this is a, a 10 ounce Yeti tumbler, double wall vacuum. And I also bought the mag slide lids for it. So it closes up and opens up real easy. And it keeps hot liquids hot longer and cold longer. So I've had some bourbon sours in it. But for coffee, it's kept the coffee warm enough, actually hot enough, that Flo notices the difference. And when Flo notices the difference, that's a win. <laughs> yes, I have to admit, I really enjoyed my coffee this morning. Kept hot. <laughs> Worth it. Oh, hey, looking so relaxed. <laughs> well, I do, I do have to say that I love these chairs, even though I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe you're buying new chairs. And his whole selling point was that these would fit like in the, these little pouches like this versus this. So we noticed 
that the kids, I mean, when they were younger, it was okay because that's where we would store those large chairs and they were shorter then. So they had, they would just use them as a little place to put their feet when we're traveling. But they're bigger now and they need a little bit more leg room. And so dude found these chairs that, yes, seriously, just fold up into this little pouch about this big. And then last year we picked up these red ones, but the new model that he picked up this year has these pockets. And you know, well, if you look at some of our videos from the past, you'll see how packed we get that Jeep. Up to the gills. Yep. We also really enjoy our little table that folds up. So we were looking for a, a table to, I don't know, have around the fire pit, uh, an extra table for the cooking setup by the Jeep. And I came across this table. Look how easy this table is. So I just put it back in itself. Squeeze. This is it. And to set up, I just need to pull it out and kind of like accordion style. Done. So a couple of years ago, when we we're traveling across Canada, we didn't bring pillows with us because it would just take up too much room. So we just slept with, I don't know, our sweatshirts bundled up. That was a terrible <laughs> idea. It was, and this was six weeks on the road. So last year, Du picked up these air pillows, yeah, they're, I guess. They're inflatable uh, uh, pillows. Yeah, and they, um, you just blow into this hole, but they stay inflated, which is amazing. And then to deflate them, you just press the button and, it, and you can deflate it. So the valves have a switch on one setting, it's for inflation and the other setting when you you know de-click it or click it it will deflate uh, the the pillow and when you're inflating yeah. it it won't let the air out like the old school one yeah which is <laughs> just great and you can inflate it to however softness you want um, anyways yeah. I messed up your pillow oh you'll have to what? fix it oh <laughs> and then we just use pillowcases from home so they don't get totally filthy comfort at a really reasonable price right oh and they fold up into like these little pocket yeah, these little pouches little pouches like, super compact and then we sleep on these light speed mattresses they're self-inflating and then we do add a few breaths at the end to firm them up but they're pretty cushiony and they keep the rocks from like digging into your back so these air mattresses are great most of the items we talked about today can be found in the links in the description below and every time you purchase off one of our Amazon links we get a little cut that keeps the channel going if you don't already please subscribe to my channel here I'm backwards aren't I no I'm not cookbook here and if you want to check out some of our other camping gear videos you can check them out there or our road trip videos to check out how we hit the road. Till next time, be simple, ordinary, and joyful.